First detected in 2013, chronic wasting disease is a fairly new disease in Iowa compared to other states in the Midwest. Monitoring the disease is important for the Iowa Department of Resources and Hunters during deer season. KTVO's Maddie Lee has more. Chronic wasting disease in deer populations can spread from deer to deer or indirectly through the environment. Now this disease is 100% fatal. The prion's misfolded shape responsible for CWD causes deadly plaque deposits in the brain. We've also uh, detected it in Dubuque, Jackson County area. Uh, and as of the recent few years, um, CWD is expanding more into central Iowa counties, although the prevalence does not appear anywhere near that of sort of the hot spots that I described. Though CWD doesn't affect humans, the CDC advises against eating infected deer meat. The Iowa DNR offers testing in each county for disease surveillance. So of course these aren't food safety tests, but they're a way to understand, uh, a way for our department to understand disease dynamics and allow that to influence our, our management strategies. CWD's long incubation period means it doesn't impact deer populations immediately, but widespread CWD can lead to declines, which the DNR is trying to minimize. We take a look at the deer population uh, and determine where it is relative to our management objective. Uh, and if it's above or at the management objective, we may consider additional harvest, uh, voluntary harvest, uh, by offering more doe tags to our hunters. While submitting your deer for testing is voluntary, for hunters who want to ensure the sustainability of their sport, participating in testing can assist the DNR in its management efforts. Reporting from Atumwa, I'm Maddie Lee.